The Biden administration has continued their mission to forgive student debt. Where does student loan debt go to die? Does Joe Biden just wave his magic wand and poof, the debt is forgiven? Think about it. The school, the college has already been paid the tuition by the financial institution that made the loan. Is the loan holder going to be left holding the bag? Are they just going to have a a loan that goes bad now and they're going to have to write that off and, um, you know, cause the, is the government just going to say, no, you made an agreement to pay back this financial institution, but you don't have to do that. Nope. That's not how it works either. Forgiveness doesn't exist without some kind of exchange or transfer. We know this from reading the Bible. We are forgiven of our sins, but the cost was huge for Jesus. When we forgive others who sin against us or who hurt us, we give up the right to make them pay for what they did. And I say right with air quotes. Interesting that they use this word forgiven, that the student debt is forgiven. The government doesn't have any money to give. The government, we the people have given the government the right to collect taxes from us and then to spend that money on things that are um, within the role and the scope of government. They are deciding who gets taken from and who receives. Biden previously stated in a press conference that there is plenty of deficit reduction to pay for the programs. Notice he didn't say there is plenty of money, (laughs) there is plenty of excess, there is plenty of surplus, there is uh, a line item in the budget. No, he said there is plenty of deficit reduction. Deficit reduction, folks, means that you're still in the red. It means that whatever money you're allocating is still coming from some borrowed source. It would be one thing if he was talking about allocating money from uh, uh, from money collected from taxpayers who really thought this was good a good idea, meaning that students shouldn't pay for their own education. The rich should have to pay the bill that they did not agree to, nor did they benefit from in any way, because according to Biden, it's their fair share, just because they have. He is talking about forgiving or really transferring is a better word. He's talking about transferring this student debt to the citizens of this country who pay taxes. And if you haven't gathered it, I'm not in favor of it. (laughs) You know, folks, we have to be accountable for the pledges that we make. Our yet as a Christian, our yes has to be yes. Our no has to be no. If we say, yes, we will accept this money from this financial institution so that we can go to school and have a better life for ourselves, probably get a better job, because we've sat down and counted the cost, we've weighed out, yes, it makes sense to pay $100,000 for a college education that is going to enable me to become a teacher, and I'm probably going to make fifty or $60,000 a year. If we say yes to something as foolish as that, then we should have we should have our feet held to the fire and we should have to pay for the debt that we agreed to incur. 